Everyone, my name is Spicy GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. We're on the 18th episode, my friends, and yes, we are in hard mode. And today's episode is going to feature some mining. Yes, we're going to be doing some mining for the hard mode ores because you know we didn't really get enough from fishing alone, so that kind of sucks. But before we do any of that, we have some things to do. We managed to get these two things from the crates, and we already have them. So we're going to go ahead and sell them. At, wow, that's only worth 20 silver. Wow, that's actually quite a lot less than I first thought it would be worth, but oh well. Right, and if we pop over here, obviously we managed to get an aglet from one of the crates as well, so that's pretty cool. And ultimately, it allows me to make this thing, the lightning boots. Awesome! The only thing I can really do with this is uh, combine it with some, I believe it's frost spark boots? Or frost boots to get frost spark boots, and they're pretty cool because it gives you more stability on ice as well. And of course, I have flesh knuckles here. I want to reforge both of these. See if we can get something cool. So, Mr. Goblin, good day. How much money do I actually have? I have no idea. Uh, 13 gold to reforge. Oh, man. That's a lot. Oh, hey, check this out, man. Yo, I'm all right with that. I'm, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. That's nine defense within itself. Damn. That's a lot of defense. Right, okay. 10 gold to reforge this. Jagged, not really, no. Oh, there's nothing else I could sell. Dang it, man. I wonder if there's anything up here which I could sell. Maybe some ingots or something. Uh, nope. Not really. Platinum bars? I could probably sell a bunch of them. If I'm going to leave 50 of them behind. All right, okay, just because that's a pretty nice amount. I might sell some of these uh, health potions as well. We might get a little bit from that. Don't imagine we're going to be living on lesser healing potions too, too much. Let's be honest right here. So let's go ahead, sell that. That's 10 gold. Boom, 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 boom. That's pretty decent. And let's see if we can get anything else. Jagged again. God freaking dang it. Okay, well, it looks like we're not getting anything decent today, my friends. Oh, well, right. Okay, so moving on, we will be taking down the Wall of Flesh a couple of times before we go mining, because I think that'd be a cool idea, uh, just so we can get some more emblems, perhaps. That'd be a pretty cool idea, right? Although, whoa, 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 whoa. hang on, hang on, hang on. That's a pretty high up. That's a pretty high up amount of uh, palladium right there, man. Don't normally find it this high up. I mean, look, we're only just underground, according to the depth meter. Hmm, interesting. I mean, that's cool, I guess. I guess you just got to be below zero units to find palladium. So that's pretty cool. I'm all right with that. In fact, you know what? If we find any going down this elevator, we're going to go ahead and pick it up. We're going to kill two birds with one stone, my friends. We are going to mine while also making our way down to hell to defeat the wall of flesh a couple more times. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is don't you don't need the three types of emblems now to make the Avenger emblem, do you? Or do you still? I can't remember. I, I think I remember reading it somewhere. You just need three emblems or just three random emblems, could be the same emblems in order to make the Avenger emblem, is that correct? I don't know, but yeah, we will pretty much find out as we go. Uh, any more? I'm pretty much just picking up the ones connected to- Ah, oh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Lol, what a dum-dum. I'm pretty much picking up the bits that are connected to the elevator itself, so any that I see that is a uh, fair distance away, I'm not really gonna get, so yes. Come on! There's no more then, that's okay. I mean, I'll go back and pick up the rest later on. That's cool, that guy's getting melted because he's a dum-dum. <laughs> LOL! Oh, I don't know. Has anybody ever told you guys that, you know, going in lava is probably not the greatest idea in the world? Hmm? It really isn't. I mean, you could do something so much more productive, like killing me, for example, but... I don't know. If that's what you want to do, if that's what you want to do, then... Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll just leave you to it, dude. I'll just leave you to it. You want to take a lava bath? Go for it. Whoa. Huh. I mean, guy. Thinks he's so smart, doesn't he? Right. Any more palladium connected to this place? I don't think there is. All right. We are good. Hi, right, buddy. Got some javelins up in here. Hey, right, look at this. There's palladium in hell. What? Since when was that a thing? Ah. Huh. So can hard mode ores now spawn in hell now? Is that something that can happen? I don't know, man. I don't even know. Hmm. That's certainly interesting. That's certainly interesting indeed. Looks like we're getting ourselves a very decent amount of palladium ore as well. May even be enough to make armor, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Right. Okay, so. Uh, we're pretty much going to go 
uh, to the right hand side and uh, I'll meet you guys there and then we'll take down the wall of flesh a couple times. <laughs> Some of my staircases turned into palladium. <laughs> I mean, why not, dude? I'm alright with that. As long as you, you know, give me cool stuff in return. All right. uh, uh, thank you, buddy. All right, you're dead. Uh, let's just replace this with the uh, stone right here. There we go. Sweet. And I believe we're pretty much here. So, let's just chuck one out and let's kill the dude. All right. He has been slain. The almighty. All right, I guess we can do a little bit of damage with this until they come along. Come on. Maybe I could use this thing. I mean, it's fully auto, and it does a fairly nice amount of damage as well. Uh, yep, as you can clearly see, very, very nice amount of damage indeed. The only thing is, it's pretty small compared to the Knight's Edge in terms of physical size, so... Yeah. Alright, come on! Keep it going, brother! Keep it the going, man! There we go, all the damage. Come on, man. I don't even know how fast we killed him before, to be honest, in terms of time taken, but... Oh, well, I'm not too fussed. I just want to kill him. Ooh! Nice! I'm having that. A magma stone! Useful eventually to uh, get some fire gauntlets. Those things are blooming amazing, by the way. Fire gauntlets. Alright, this guy's getting close to death. 37, 36, 35. I'm actually taking damage. What the hell? Damn, dude! Now right, let's see if I can do a decent amount of damage with this. Yeah, not really. I think this still does a decent amount. 16, 15. <laughs> I'm trying to see which does the most amount of damage. And, well, to be honest, I don't think anything really compares to the bee's knees. Quite literally. All right. And he is done. All right, buddy. What you got for me this time, brother? Okay, if we can get the guy to spawn in reasonably quick, that'd be cool. Uh, a ranger emblem. Nice. Okay, so that's two out of three emblems. I believe there is now a summoner emblem as well, so that might be one to try and get at some point. That would be cool. Right. Oh, there goes my dog. <laughs> ah, doggy dog. Okay, so we're going to wait for the guy to spawn back in. He should be able to spawn in because, as you can see, the time still daytime, so... Yes, we're going to wait for the guy to spawn back in, and I'll meet you guys for the next fight. Well, while waiting for the guy to spawn back in, I actually found another shadow chest. So I guess we can have a look and see what we've got. A annoying flower of fire. Ooh, so rubbish. So rubbish indeed. Yeah, no one likes you, man. Go on, brother. All right, maybe I can get some stuff. Oh, blood moon. How, how cool is that? Not. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the, I do like the shadow chests. I like how they look. I like how they're purple. I like it. I like purple chests. They look kind of cool. Right, uh, anything else? There's plenty of fire blossom and such about, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, I think we've come to the end of finding... What's that? Is that... That is titanium, right? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I think we've come to the end of finding the hell houses, so yeah, we just literally have hell. So, yeah. I think it's time to head back, my friends. Do, do, do. Unfortunately, there's no guide, so that's kind of sucky. Uh, got another magma stone, though, which is kind of cool. Grabbed a little bit more hellstone as well, because if we manage to get 40 hellstone ore, we're going to eventually need that, of course, for some things. You know, the, the digging mount towards the end game. If you lock it all, like, go away and leave my peeps alone, that'd be great. Thanks. All right, everybody's getting hurt, apparently. Can you, like, go inside the house, please? Then I can block you in. Huh? There you go. Get out the house. Get in the damn house. Are you really that stupid dryad? Oh my god, the dryad is just... You are frustratingly dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, get in the damn house. How can I protect you if you won't protect yourself, you dumb dumb? Ah, oh, do you know what? You think I care, man? You think I care? I did care, but your dumbness has just made me lose patience, so... Yes. Right, what I'm hoping to find more than anything is some clowns. Because if we find some clowns, then we might be good to go in terms of getting banana rangs. Banana rangs are pretty damn good, actually. So, I would like to try and get some at least. So, yes. Alright, clownsies. Clownsy, clownsy, clownsies. Where you at, bro? <laughs> yeah, I like how all of these guys are trying to kill me. I don't know. They think they're so smart. They're just not, man. They're just not. <laughs> Even the anglers taking them down. This guy knows how to party. Right, here we go. There you go. See, look, it's all good when you get trapped in, isn't it? Then you might get hurt and stuff. There we go. All right, 
And let's block that off as well. Sweet. I feel like I should make like a, a service entrance at top here. So let's put them back. Okay, and then we can get it. Sweet! I don't think anybody's really going to spawn on top of the house, are they? No. Although, I don't know, man. I have been mistaken previously, so... <laughs> who knows, man? Who knows? Living fire blocks, awesome! Okay, so, ranger emblem. Pretty decent if we have a ranger loadout, which we don't really... I, I, I don't know, man. What if we put that on? That is 37 damage. Wow. That's a pretty decent amount, man. That is a decent amount indeed. Hmm. Okay. Right, so, the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go mining for some uh, hard mode ores, because I think that'd be a cool thing to do, right? So, yeah, we already have a pretty decent amount of palladium, we'll see what we can make once we get back, but uh, we're gonna go and grab ourselves sp some spelunky potions. There we go, brother. Look at that, three of them, 15 minutes worth of mining. It's gonna be cool. Ah, oh, yeah. Right. Uh, tools, so you go in there. Okay, cool. I should probably sell it, actually. I don't really need it. Right. Okay, peeps, hopefully you all be good. We really don't want you to die, man, because I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you were alive. You're much better to me when you're alive. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, come on, come on, get wrecked, son. There we go. Okay, so, let's head down. Let's see if we can't find some more, my friends. That's what I like to see. Ah, oh, it's still not fully auto. Well, that's a bit of a sucker. Wow, look at that though, 68 damage. That's a pretty damn significant amount, if I do say so myself. Okay, the only thing that could possibly make this better if it was uh, fully auto, but I guess I can understand why they wouldn't make it fully auto, because, you know, it might be considered a bit OP, like a sort of mini terror blade kind of dealio. Right, okay, so. Heading back, we've done five minutes worth of mining, we've got 92 more palladium ore, and obviously, you know, I couldn't mine a great deal of anything else because that's just something I can't do. So, let's grab all of this out, let's grab the palladium out. Is that palladium? Yes it is, okay, cool. And we need to go over to the Hellforge, and we need to do some things. Oh, that's right, we don't have a Hellforge, we skipped straight up to a Titanium Forge, didn't we? Because we are pros. Crystal blocks? What? Those things look awesome! Oh man, a palladium column? There's a load of new building blocks in here, dude. That's awesome. Big fan of that. Okay, so 75 palladium bars. I'm pretty sure that's going to be more than enough to make the armor, right? Or is it? So 14, 10, 8. Okay, so 18 plus 24 plus 12. Oh man, I can't be bothered to do the maps. It's 54, isn't it? Okay, so melee damage. Range damage or mage damage? I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with the tank set. So here we go. We're gonna get the tank set of palladium armor, which is all of this stuff basically, and that has taken us from 35 defense to 48, an increase of 13. Wow, that is pretty damn nice. Okay, uh, what else have we got? We need a palladium pickaxe, obviously. So let's get that. And funny enough, that's all I can have. Huh. Well, there. <laughs> Well then, there we go. That's, uh, if that's all we can have then, I guess we're going to go ahead and make our way up to the Orichalcum set, right? Because that's what we have in our world, Orichalcum. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's organize our inventory. And once again, a bit of a mini mining montage. Let's see how many bits of Orichalcum we can get. Alrighty, guys, we are back, and as you can see, we are starting to mine up some Orichalcum. I've literally just used a Spavalanka potion, so we have about five minutes worth of mining. So this time, uh, we are going to do the question of the video, my friends. And for today, that comes from a user by the name of the Russian Kid. And his question is, what was your most difficult boss to fight in Terraria? Now, funnily enough... <laughs> I actually very recently did a an episode of my Terraria Expert Mode Let's Play, whereby I took down Skeletron, just the regular Skeletron boss on Expert Mode. And i got to tell you guys, he was probably by far and away the most difficult boss I have taken down so far, because his AI is different, he has a lot more health. 
He has a different attack pattern, and he just does a heck of a lot more damage to you. It's actually ridiculous, man. <laughs> but, yeah, it's actually kind of cool, because I have been craving challenges in Terraria for a long time now, and it took me a good three, four tries in order to take down Skeletron, and I was just like... Yeah, you know that you know that satisfying feeling you get when you finally take down a boss you've been trying to take down for such a long time? That's the feeling I got, and it felt absolutely great. It really did. So, I don't know, if you guys want to check out that episode where I was taking down Skeletron on expert mode, then I, don't know, I might put a link in the description for you guys, if you so wish to see it. So, yeah. But aside from that, yeah, that's my answer of the video to you. Uh, my question of the video is going to be somewhat passed on. What is... Well... In your opinion, what is the most difficult boss in Terraria? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, if you guys would like to send in your suggestions for the question of the video, then by all means do so, and the eleven chance of yours been used, and your name shouted out. So, yeah. Let's head back down. I think, yep, there's some uh, Orichalcum over in that direction. I feel like I may have missed some as well. Here's, I was too busy looking up the dark question. God diggity freaking ouch, that hurt. Oh, man. Yeah, but yeah, I was too busy looking at the question of the video. I've got a little notepad thing to the side of me. That's how I know what the question is and whatnot. So I may have missed some Orichalcum back up top. So yeah, you'll have to forgive me if I do. Oh, okay, cool. All good. Maybe there's some more stuff. That's Palladium. Don't really need Palladium at this point. Uh, we just want to go straight up to Titanium, preferably. Although, you know, Titanium is pretty, you know, baller. So yeah. All right. Uh, that's titanium right there, isn't it, actually? Okay, cool. Got some orichalcum up here, which is cool. The more of that we can get, the better. Maybe we can get ourselves an orichalcum pickaxe. And then, of course, like I said, we can go straight up to titanium. And that would be pretty freaking cool. I am looking forward to that. Okay, so up, up here. There we go. Have a bit of that. Don't need that torch there. Okay. How much are we getting? Over 100 at this point. Although, if I remember correctly, I need four alls per bar. So, I do need to be very, very much aware of that. Okay, so, let's keep going down. Anything more? I think that's Orichalcum over there. Looks familiar. The texture, at least. I always found that with uh, 1.3, the Orichalcum and the Palladium textures under a Spelunker potion would uh, look almost exactly the same, but I think I've pretty much got the gist of how they look now. They've got a very slightly, subtly different texture, which is cool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of that. It's cool. I'm okay with that. Right. Okay, so we're doing pretty decent in, in terms of our calcum, actually. Pretty decent indeed. Not only that, but we found a pretty nice amount of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Titanium as well. So, we might be able to good... We might be able to good. <laughs> we might be good to create an or a titanium pickaxe. Although I don't really see a need to do that. All right. So we're just going back up at this point. Maybe there's some that I missed. That's palladium. Don't need palladium. Keep going up, brother. Still nothing. That's palladium again. Okay. That's also palladium. Hmm. Did I miss some? Did I miss some? I don't know, man. My memory may be playing tricks on me, but I'm pretty sure I missed some as I was going down. Yeah, there's some there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, okay, sweet. So, yeah, we've got this one and another bunch just to the right-hand side of it. So, yeah, once we grab that, uh, the Spelunker potion will pretty much just run out, I guess. And then we'll head back to base, see what we can make. And then perhaps we'll make a start on trying to get some, maybe, titanium? I don't know, man. Maybe some titanium armor. I can't remember. Have I ever made a full set of titanium armor? I don't think I have. Unless, again, you know, my memory's playing tricks on me, in which case, you know, screw you, memory. But I can't remember ever making titanium armor. Doesn't it give you some sort of major stat boost or something? I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. Like I said, never made it before. I have absolutely no idea. So, 193 in five minutes. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right, quick stacky. Oh, that's most of the stuff gone, actually. Cool. Do, do generic chests, so you can go in there. Still got a guide voodoo doll. I would like to take him down one more time, but he doesn't seem to be spawning back in, so obviously someone's taken his place. Hmm, little buggers. <laughs> Why you do this? Although, can't someone live in here? Can they, can they live in there? Missing a table, but the goblin workshop is kind of a table, isn't it? Right? Eh, or am I just being silly? I don't know, maybe if I just put... Uh, let's go down here, let's make a... Wait, where's the crafting table these days? It's down here. Okay, let's just make a table and then we'll have that classed 
as a house, and then hopefully the guide should be able to spawn back in. Alright, so, boom. I'll pull the torch there, well, just for the hell of it. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, hard mode stuff chest. We already have three Orocalcan bars, which is cool. 196 ore, so that is also cool. Let's go ahead and put this thing down here. And, yeah, actually, we need to stay down there, don't we? So we can get to the forge. There we go. All right. Do, 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 do. We have 52. Nice amount. What can we make? Already have the anvil. Don't need that. Yeah, we need 54 bars for this set of armor. So, unfortunately, we're not getting that. We'll have an old Calcum pickaxe, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, yep, plus speed. Nice. It's the same prefix as my uh, palladium one, actually. Nice. Okay. Uh, anything else I want to make? Maybe a repeater? How much does this do? 32. That does 41. Hmm. I could. I could do it, man. Oh, a Calcum Halberd? That could be decent against invasions, perhaps? I don't know, man. I'm going to go for a repeater. Here we go. And then perhaps we can reforge it. That'd be a cool idea. Okay. If we reforge it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at you sitting down. Oh, it's like he's having a break or something. Right, lazy, bad, demonic. That's decent. 47 damage now. Okay, bees knees. I don't know. We're going to have to try and do a test and see which one does more damage per second. I'll keep both of them on me, but I'm just not sure which one does more damage, unfortunately. Right, okay. So, you go in there. Wow, tools chest starting to fill up. <laughs> wow. Okay. So... I think we've done a pretty good job so far, but I think we can go one more time with a Spolonka potion, grab some titanium, see how much we managed to get, and yeah, we're going to do this one in the form of a mining montage, I think, my friends. So yeah, we're going to head down, we're going to use this final Spelunker potion, the guide has just arrived. I really want to take down the Wall of Flesh, actually. Oh, the decisions, the decisions. Hmm. Oh, which one to do, which one to do, I don't know, man. Do we really need titanium right now, as in... I'm pretty sure we don't. So, do you know what? We're going to skip titanium for now. We'll do that in another episode, my friends. And we're going to go and take down the wall of flesh again. So, I'll meet you guys by down hell. By down hell? <laughs> I'll meet you guys down by hell. That's the one. Man, this guy thinks he can take me down. Look at him. And he's dead. Wait, what was that? Oh, soul of light. I thought he dropped something else over there. I was like, wait, what? Don't tell me he dropped me another beam sword. That would have been awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll meet you guys there. Oh, oh, it's a mimic. Oh my god. <laughs> There's me thinking I actually missed out a chest, but nah, I didn't. Hey, a jaw hook. That's a very good upgrade from a slime hook. Damn. Only shoots out twice, unfortunately, but shoots out a long, long way as well. So that is pretty freaking cool. Right, okay, let's bring up the overlay map, see how far we are from the thing. Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. In which case, bye bye, Mr. Guidey. All right, let's use our newfound weapon, shall we? Let's use the beam sword and, of course, the repeater. Let's see how we do. do, 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 do. All right, this thing does more damage than the Knight's Edge, which is kind of cool, actually. All right. Maybe we can take him down entirely with the sword. Who knows, man? Look at that. 6,800. The painter has arrived. Interesting. Okay. Do we have any other arrows, actually? Oh, we literally only have wooden ones. Okay. Not very fast, is it? That's what I've just noticed. Hmm. Do, 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 do with all the damage like you do. 32. 20. Wow, this does a lot of damage. Blimey. And health. Look at the damage this beam sword is doing, dude. And he's dead. Break a blade and a mask. Awesome. That is pretty sweet. Got a bunch of gold as well. Wow. I'll tell you something. This beam sword is surprisingly good. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to complain about it. Damn. Okay, sweet. Alrighty, guys. I think on that awesome note, it is time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop me a like rating, my friends. It'd be much appreciated. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. Your support has been very much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode.